school bus fare subsidies, a neighborhood job scheme and a befriending network for families with special needs children are among a slew of initiatives that will be rolled out to help residents living in areas such as Ang Mo Kio, Jalan Bisa and Tanjong Pega. A $10 million fund with contributions from the Central Singapore Community Development Council CDC and other donors will support these initiatives. They will be rolled out over the next three years and cover the CDC's five pillars, financial wellness, physical wellness and sustainability, socio-emotional wellness and inclusiveness, lifelong learning and service to others. Central Singapore District Mayor Denise Fewer said on Monday that the council plans to roll out up to 100 community offerings to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the birth of modern Singapore's founding father Lee Kuan Yew. The Central Singapore CDC supports residents living in Ong Mo Kio, Bishantoa Peo, Jalan Bisa and Tanjong Pega, as well as Kabun Boru, Marymount, Potong Pasa, Raiden Moss and Yayo Chu Kong. Speaking on Monday at the 11th Council Appointment Ceremony of Central Singapore CDC at Jalan Bisa Community Centre, Prime Minister Li Xin Long said CDCs are like regional officers and play a vital role at the district level. They work closely with grassroots divisions and social service agencies to aggregate residents' needs and build resources and capabilities to have strong volunteer and donor networks. He said. PM Lee added, you connect needs and resources together and also serve as a bridge between residents and the government. The mission to aggregate, build and connect may sound simple, but a lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes to bring the community together, he said. This includes caring for the vulnerable and needy, helping residents upskill and stay relevant, and pushing various national priorities. These are the responsibility of the district councillors, who will be appointed here today, PM Lee added. I am glad to see how our councillors, volunteers and partners have come together and introduced many impactful programmes to help residents live the better life whether physically, financially, socio-emotionally, or in lifelong learning, and in service to others. Many of these are initiatives to support the less privileged, such as improving the living conditions in senior citizens' homes, contributing essential items and services to vulnerable families, and helping children from disadvantaged backgrounds gain access to learning opportunities, he said. Among the initiatives that will be rolled out in the first phase is a local job scheme that will connect residents to jobs in the neighborhood. The scheme will identify and create microjobs, such as delivering meals or mail, to help seniors who want to remain active. The council will also support a skills future for juniors and youth initiative to help young people develop digital and vocational skills. Ms. Fewer who is also an MP for Jalan Bisa GRC, said there have been significant developments in society, such as an aging population, rapid technological advancements, rising cost of living, and challenges faced by groups such as caregivers of the disabled. These developments underscore the need for continued adaptation and timely and creative solutions to address the evolving needs of our community. The event on Monday saw a newly appointed council for the Central Singapore CDC with representatives from the people, public and private sectors who will serve a three-year term.